What is going on guys, Kevin Reese here and today we're back and today we are going to be changing out the rotor and the brake pads for the front brake on my Honda CRF 150F. Um, I have the brake pads right here, brand new, and under here is the new rotor, but I'll take it out after. And um, yeah, so we're going to be changing it. Uh, as you can see, I painted the rims black. If you follow my channel, then you know they were silver, obviously, when I bought the bike. But now, slow as hell to zoom up, but it's black. And it's black. And again, I don't know if I told anyone. I don't think I mentioned it in the uh, last video, but got brand new tire for the front. Brand new Maxxis for the front. All good. All new. It actually looks great because the other one, I don't have it. I already threw it out, but it was bald. You could rub your hand around it and it would be smooth, basically. So, yeah, but I'm going to be throwing these on. I know the bench is a mess. Like, really big mess. Hey, man. But on the bright side, I did get a new breaker bar, so that's, that's something, eh? Finally. <laughs> other than that, we're going to be changing out. I already got it up on the stand. Got my little space heater going because it's like 25 degrees out. And, uh, yeah, so let's get to uh, disassembling it. We're going to remove, I don't know if you can even see it, we're going to start by uh, removing these four nuts off the end of this. <coughs> yeah, I don't think you can even see it. Yeah, it just misses the camera. Come on, give it. Before I do that, I'm going to quickly break the uh, seal, which is screwed into the other end of the axle. Let's see if you can see from that end, probably not, but that wasn't bad at all. And there we go. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do real quick is uh, when we were putting the tire on, I painted it before I put the tire on because the rim had no tire on it. It was gonna be easier to paint. And as you can see up here, it's hard to see on camera, but you can see a lot more in person. But there's a lot of scrapes and gouges all through the rim when we were trying to put it on from the tire spoons because I didn't have any rim protectors and I didn't care at the moment. And uh, yeah, so it's all over. I don't know if it's on this side. Uh, no, there's none on this side, but this side geez, is uh, does have a bunch of pieces. So I'm just going to get the uh, index card, little trick where you stick the index cards in between the uh, uh, tire and uh, quickly touch it up with the spray paint. And then you guys won't see any of that on camera because it's going to be a long and boring process. And then I'm going to uh, switch off the brake pads and the rotor and everything. Before we paint it, I'm gonna take off the rotor. This will be the last of this stock rotor. I should probably do this on the uh, bench because I think I locked tighted it last time. But, uh, never mind. Ooh! Loctite definitely worked. Come on, there we go. Oh. And that is the old one. Quickly before I paint, I mean, would you just look at that? All every single individual spoke has a straw and tape around the nipple. I mean, just like four straws missing because I ran out of straws. But other than that, and then all the index cards around it so that the new tire doesn't get painted. And uh, yeah, now it's time to paint. I'm not gonna record it, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> all right, while my paint is drying on the, uh, <coughs> the um, can't even wheel, I'm going to take off the uh, caliper. Oh, putting these sockets on backwards. So, it just seems to be these two bolts right here. 
These are probably loctited in. There's one. Oh, there's two hands uh, and a ratchet, but. No, it doesn't seem to be anything too bad. Uh, it looks pretty good. I got to uh, unscrew this pin right here. And then I think they should just slide out after that. I don't see any more pins. So uh, let me just unscrew this right here. Well, under this, it is a Allen head now, so now I gotta... Alright, I'm just gonna unlock this, uh, get it off camera, and then I'll turn it back on and get it off. Alrighty, I just cracked it loose, a little bit of penetra penetrating oil, did the work. Now, just unscrew, unscrew. Slippery. Yeah. There's the pin. That one, maybe that one comes out first. And then this one comes out second. Oh, I dropped the little retainer clip, but that is him. Alright, I got the wheel all set up. Everything is, uh, I take, took it all off, all the pieces of tape and everything, and it's all back to looking nice. Um, I'm gonna put the uh, rotor on real quick. Like people texting me. Like that, alright, and it lines up good because I never checked if it lined up. But it looks good, I like it a lot better than this, I can tell you that, it looks a lot better. Alrighty. You got all four bolt. Are you jo I dropped one down the down the center. Oh, and it landed. That's a point, brother. All right, let's get it assembled. All right. So first, it's gonna be kind of how it goes on, but just take one glove off. Get the Loctite out because you do not want these falling out. Try and do it towards the camera. Sorry if you can't see it because I have no clue what the camera sees at the moment. Get one. You know, if I could screw it in, that would be great. And boom. So, I'll get these all tightened up and show you after. We have a little bit of a problem. It's not really going to affect anything, but... I'm going to have to fix it sooner or later. Uh, as you can see, there's three bolts and then we're missing one. And you'll never believe what happened with this one. I'm barely even tightening it. Starting to tighten it, you know, it was getting a little bit tight. And I literally, with the socket, uh, socket ratchet, didn't even have it. Like, I had my hand right here, so there was no, not a lot of leverage, so I wasn't doing that much force to it. And I'm just like this, and then do it a little bit, and the head snaps off. I have no clue where it went. It went somewhere over there. I'm not going to try and look for it. But, uh, you know, that's just what I wanted. A loctite part of the, the bottom side of the bolt. And I put Loctite on it inside there. So, the really only way I'm going to get it out was to drill it, I guess. I mean, <coughs> there's really no other way that I'm going to try and get that out. I mean, I can look up other ways to try and, like, get it out. But if you guys have any recommendations for me to get that out, I would love it to hear it. But other than that... I have three. It's going to hold it. It's not going anywhere. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get that fixed soon, which sucks. But, uh, you know, it happens. Alrighty. So now we're going to quickly throw the brake pads, the new ones, inside. Alright. Got them both in there. Grab the little bolt. Grab the Allen 
and now we just tighten it up. All right, I'm gonna put it on the way we put the uh, gonna put the wheel on first, and then put the caliper on the rotor when it's all on. Instead of trying to slide the rotor inside the caliper and pads first, and getting it stuck and stuff, so I'm just gonna do this first. I think it'll be easier, to be honest. And uh, yeah. So. I know you can't see it from that side, but like this can't forget the spacer. Alright. Try and get this in there. Alright. Alright. Now I just gotta tighten it and then uh yeah, it'll be all good. Alright, so I got the wheel on. Now it's just getting the uh, the caliper on, so uh, let's try and do that. <laughs> all right, got it all set up. Gonna try and spread the pads apart so they'll at least fit over the rotor. Sorry if you can't see, cause my head's in the way, but gotta get this on. This is the most annoying part of anything. Of changing brakes from me is the worst part because it's always just closes back up and the rods are pushed back all the way all right that wasn't bad all right now it's in there i need to change the socket now of course Oh, I can hand do hand right there. Nice. Get that one in just to get him in real quick. Come on. I can't even feel my fingers, so that's why it's like, come on. Alright, there we go. I'm just gonna tighten these up and then I'll show you uh, that works and everything. Alright, so I'll tighten up. I had to take this off obviously because you need to let the fluid come back up and now it's up there. So now he's gotta pump it until it gets tight. But uh, yeah, I'll screw the top back onto this and then I'll uh, show you guys. And to quickly show you guys that it works, obviously there's gonna be a little bit of friction and resistance between the pads and the new rotor because they're it's brand new pads but uh yeah there's always supposed to be a little bit of rub anyway but uh so I'm gonna try and spin this and film it at the same time uh, try my best to show you guys alright but anyway as you know I'm sure you guys know obviously that's working and uh I think it looks a lot better than this old stock thing. I think it looks a lot cleaner. I uh, like it. Obviously, I just need to get that one last bolt, and then I'll be complete. <laughs> but uh, other than that, one day I'm going to clean up these sh uh, forks because, I mean, look at these things. These things are beat to hell. There's that taken out of it. Like, oh, these things need clean. Oh, excuse me. And, uh... Yeah, but uh, that was the install of the new brake pads and the rotor, and I'm freezing my ass off right now, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a big like and subscribe while you're at it, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the, the I can't even talk, in the uh, next video. Peace.